Welcome to this fifth episode of Boardwalk, in which our board members give us insight in what's involved in running this university. And today my guest is our new president, Koen Janssen. And he wanted to meet me here at Flux. Hi Koen. Hi Sandy. Hello. Yeah, the first question, why Flux? Yeah, in the first uh, two months of, uh, of my stay here as, as president, I visited all departments and this was the first one uh, which I visited. And here it's going to happen also uh, in terms of an important project for our university, Project Beethoven, uh, where a lot of growth is coming from. Exactly, Beethoven and Mark Bentham, he's the Dean of the Department Electro-Engineering. He can tell us more about that project. So the Beethoven program, yeah, that's something we are really, really looking forward to. It's, uh, it's a lot of work because for the ecosystem, what we want to do is doubling the amount of graduates. Doubling, I mean, that is about 2,000 more graduates than uh, we have today. Uh, fortunately, it's not one department, it are four faculties involved with that. So it's mathematics, computer science, applied physics, mechanical engineering, and of course, electrical engineering. It also means new buildings. They are not there overnight. Uh, that will take a couple of years and that have some consequences for the way of working here at the university. But we believe that with our complete community, we will make this happen and we make the Beethoven project a big success. So your first 100 days are over. How, how was that? It was a real discovery tour. Uh, I met so many passionate uh, people here on this beautiful campus. It's uh, everywhere you can uh, reach each other because it's on walking distance. We have a lot of expertise here available. Uh, there's a lot of infrastructure. I was really amazed by the, the breadth of expertise which mm -hmm. we have here. And it's just a vibrant community with the Brainport area mm -hmm. where uh, companies, governmental institutes uh, and our university are working uh, closely together. Yeah, that's very special for this university. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And here in this building uh, yeah. uh, we work on new technology and I really like to uh, show you our quantum lab. Yeah, and that's in the Cube building, so that's over there. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hey, Servaas. Hey, Servaas. Hi. Lily, hello. Nice to meet you again. The man of quantum. Oh, oh wow. It's incredible, huh? It's really incredible. Oh, that's a lot of whew. stuff. Yeah. A lot of optics, a lot of mirrors, lasers, yeah. and our quantum bits. This is our quantum computer, Sapphire. Okay, this is a quantum computer. Did you ever see it before? Uh, when I visited, it was the first time uh, in real life, I think uh, this is what you see, it is really at the core what we do. It's cutting edge uh, research uh, for the society, where uh, we are privileged that uh, we have all the resources, both in people, but also infrastructure to do this great research together with uh, partners in the region and beyond. And what's this? Yeah, so here we are at the quantum computer Ruby. Yeah. Uh, the red color reflects actually the main laser light that yeah. we need here to cool these atoms. And you can actually see here some images, live images of the quantum bits that we are preparing. So these are real-time images yeah. of the qubits uh, doing some quantum computations. Okay, and then because with qubits you can do everything because it's super, super fast. In a way, yes. You know, it is like the new technology where we make a superposition of two quantum states where we can do calculations with, let's say, two numbers at the same time. And yeah. then not just for one, but for all of them, which is very powerful. Okay. So it's not just zero one, but it's everything at the same time. Everything at the same time, yeah. You get it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, great. It was an amazing lab to see. Yeah. Uh, but. There's another place where you want yeah, to Yeah, there's another place, I think, uh, where they do great things. Uh, let's go to Vector. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Sir Thank you. You're welcome. Around. Yes, Thank see you. you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. You started here with a mission, three things. Uh, connect, improve and adapt. That's correct. Let's start first with uh, the improvements. What do we have to improve? Yeah, what I saw in my first months here is that a lot of things go well but I see also lots of opportunities to improve. 
And when you look at, let's say, the last decade, this university has doubled its growth. Yeah? So there was a lot of attention uh, to assist this growth. And I think there was uh, not enough attention to, uh, let's say, optimize the supporting uh, processes. And that is also what you see in the employee experience survey. Yeah? That has three major topics where we need to focus on. First of all, uh, work pressure. Yeah. The second one is uh, social safety. And uh, the third one is uh, people. Uh, people and that is uh, personal development and career development and that's what we are going to do and then adapt what do you want to adapt yeah i think we have to realize as university that we are privileged we get so much governmental money eh? several hundred millions uh, are flowing in here every year that's a privilege and we need to give something back also for the society so um, for me it's important that we use this money very efficiently so we need to also harmonize the processes where we can and we need to differentiate where we need. And um, be more transparent about it, maybe? Yes, the outside, for sure. The outside world, exactly. society? Exactly. I think uh, also to gain trust, it is important that uh, we are transparent. Yeah. Not everything is running well. Yeah. And uh, I am uh, a person who likes to be transparent mm -hmm. because honesty in the end is the only way to go. Sure. and to gain the trust of uh, not only this community, but also the society yeah. who is uh, investing a lot in uh, our university. So, Vector, um, adapt, improve and connect. Uh, Indeed. Your three missions. Yep. And I think this is about connection. You're right. Patrick, hi. Hey, nice to see you, Cindy. Hello, Koen. Welcome to Vector. Vector is the temporary home of both mechanical engineering and biomedical engineering. We are actually here together in this building because we share people, we share infrastructure, and we share a number of labs. I would like, I would like to bring you actually to our workshop, which is actually a shared facility. Okay. So let's go this way. Yeah. Great. Well, it's all about connection here. Exactly. Yeah. And how was it for you to now relocate to a totally different building? Well, I mean, this is a place which is not on campus, so that's the one thing. Um, of course, we also had to move a lot of equipment. Yeah. We still made a conscious choice actually to come here together with Biomedical Engineering. We have a shared facility like this workshop, yeah. which is actually helping us to do better research, better education, and we're actually doing this together. So for us, it was important to stay together, even though we're a little bit outside the campus, yeah. but we're still trying to connect as, pos as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. And can you show me a lab? Of yeah, of course, there are many labs. Let's go this yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, well, this looks great. I'm going to leave you with this. So okay. enjoy the tour. Thank and you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye -bye. Again, totally different lab. This is the movie theater of biomedical engineering. Yeah, wow. I was really flabbergasted by the groundbreaking research which we do here. And we have here uh, Rick and Freek. Yeah. And they are going to show you something where you really... Oh yeah? Be Blow my mind? Yes, exactly. Okay, Rick, so what do we see here? Uh, so basically what we do is we use sound yeah. to make order in the chaos. So what you see here is yeah. just some random cells. And when we expose them to a certain type of sound field, we are able to place these cells into nice lines. And when you look at, for example, scar tissue, it would be really nice if we can use this, these sound fields to reorganize this scar tissue to go from chaotic to an organized car. So creating order in chaos, don't we all want that? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so now you've showed us around uh, a tremendous places we've been to, but you have still a lot of work to do. Yeah, I think with a great team which we have uh, at the TOE, uh, we will implement all what you are today, uh, the connect, the improve and the adapt into a new version of the institutional plan. Yeah. We are working hard with the team and uh, soon you will see that we will uh, embrace the whole community to give their input. So we have, uh, let's say, aligned uh, hearts and minds about yeah. the mission and the vision we have for this beautiful university. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, if you want to see more episodes of Boardwalk, please visit our very own YouTube channel or go to the link below. So maybe till next time. Indeed. See you then. <laughs>